Okay, so boys and girls, this is part two. If you want to see the rest, just leave a like. Now, that night, after bedtime stories, Spoon's mom turned off the light, tucked him in and said, You know, Spoon, I wonder if you realize just how lucky you are. Your friends will never know the joy of diving headfirst into a bowl of an ice cream. He looks like he's having fun. They'll never know what it feels to clink against the side of a cereal bowl. Clink. They'll never be able to twirl around in a mug or relax in a hot cup of tea. Hi. Spoon hadn't thought of it that way before. He lay awake in bed for a long time. His mind was racing. He felt so alive. There was only one thing to do. I can't sleep. Come snuggle. Come spoon. And so he did. Sweet dream. Thank you, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I'll see you next time. Bye.